Hi everyone and welcome to Name Hero. I'm Ryan, the founder and CEO. In this video, I wanna talk about resource limits and CPU usage and RAM usage. So at Name Hero, we provide high-speed cloud web hosting and it's very important to us that your site performs well. So one of the ways that we do this and are able to offer this at an affordable rate is by having limits on every single account. And you know, back in the history of the web hosting days, you know, limits are something that are sometimes seen as good and bad. Well, one thing, it's bad if people don't know about the limits. And so it's been very important for me at Name Hero that we're very transparent with all of our limits. So you know what they are, you know what happens if you start the re to reach them, and if you do reach them, you know how to scale upward. You know, one thing I saw early on when I started Name Hero is people were coming over from other hosts and they were really angry and they would say, you know, my site suspended at my current host because I went over CPU limit. And I don't know what CPU limit means, I don't know how I went over it, but I'm over it. My site suspended. Can you help us? And you know, of course, this was uh, very baffling to me. And I was like, well, I, I'm not sure why they suspended you. Um, of course, we will help you out. Let's get your account moved over, and then we can take a look at, at Name Hero, and we have some more data on it. And so I think, you know, back in the earlier days of the web hosting industry, of course, limits have to be imposed, especially when you're offering solutions that are on shared nodes, um, which used to be shared servers before the cloud. Um, obviously, if, you know, one account gets 100,000 visits at once, it's going to tax all the other accounts on the server. And so without limits, then it would could cause an outage or a slowdown. So at Name Hero, we operate on containerized hosting. So regardless of what, what package you sign up on, you have your own container, your own section, and it has a set amount of RAM, of CPU re resources, of cores that it can access. And if it, you need more than that, then you can simply upgrade. And of course, we don't just go suspending your site if you hit one of these limits. Uh, we use a piece of software called Cloud Linux, and that's just one of many that we use. But Cloud Linux helps us um, gauge what these resources are, or actually allocate these resources per account. Um, that way, you know what you're paying for. And then, like I said, since we are on the cloud, if you start to impose on these limits or encroach these limits, you can upgrade in our interface to the next package, and that way you can seamlessly handle a traffic burst to your website. And so let's just go through some of our hosting packages, and I'm going to show you inside the Name Hero control panel where you can see these usage um, limits and what you can do if you reach one of them. So I'm on the main page of the site, and let's just start with our web hosting packages. So I'm just going to click web, web hosting at the top. So nine out of 10 people at Name Hero, they come in and they get started with our basic hosting packages. And of course, these are for individuals, small businesses, mid-sized businesses that are looking for a good hosting solution, a fast, affordable, scalable, reliable, and secure cloud hosting solution. And so if you notice below each package, it kind of gives you a estimate of the amount of visitors a month that each package can stand or can you know sustain. Now, we don't cap on visits. So if you're you reach 10,000 visits, we don't just shut off your hosting. And you know, likewise, you might reach lower than 10,000 visitors a month. It obviously goes into how your site's coded, if you're using WordPress, how many plugins, how many comments, you know, what activity is going on that's taxing the database and you know, creating resource limits and, and usage. Um, so if you'll notice, um, the first limit I want to talk about has to do has to deal with storage. So we do not meter the terms of gigabyte storage on these accounts. So you know if you have one or two files that are large, that doesn't really that does not count against you. What we monitor is the actual number of files in the account. And so beside each unlimited storage, you can see maximum of 250,000 inodes. Um, you can also just call this files. So 250,000 files, 250,000 files. And the Turbo in business is 500,000 files for each. Um, so rarely do we see customers that hit these limits. I mean, obviously, if you're on the starter or plus, you can go to the Turbo or, or business. And if you reach these, then you can go on up to a VPS. And, you know, we feel that after our research and always constantly tweaking our back end and our, um, our, our network architecture and our, our, our back end servers, that these limits are very appropriate for these packages. And, you know, so if you reach this number of 
number of files. Most customers, once they reach it, we can take a look and it's uh, a lot of times they have um, have many emails that they have not deleted. So they, they have emails in a box that you know maybe they're not even using anymore. Um, sometimes they haven't purged their cache. They're using like Lightspeed cache and they haven't set their cache to purge until all these cache files have built up. So I guess the big point I'm trying to make is you know an average site doesn't just use up that many files. There's normally something that, that causes that. And of course, if you do have a very large site, then of course you're going to start getting more and more files. But really, once you're past that 500,000 um, limit, it is about time to go to a VPS because uh, you know th th these basic hosting packages um, they can only withstand so much before you do have to upgrade. And you know, if me, if I look back at my own websites over the years since '98, my first website started off on a package just like this. Uh, my problem was I it got really popular really fast and I could not meet any limits. Uh, mainly mine was bandwidth and even now, back then they would say that you know bandwidth was limited to a certain amount but I, we were sending so much traffic per day we were hitting other limits and we did not have specific meters to see what those limits were. Uh, it, it was just pretty obvious that uh, we were reaching eight to 10,000 visitors a day in the first three months of site that we had to go to back then it was just a standard dedicated server and then it grew from there. I think I was 15 years old and my, my hosting bill was like six to eight hundred dollars a month. It was crazy. Um, but at Name Heroes, it's our goal to allow you to start wherever your site falls and then to grow accordingly. So besides the file limits, um, you're gonna see the RAM limits. So one, two, three, and four. So obviously, the more amount of RAM that your website or your web package has, the more power or juice that's gonna uh, be able to power those visitors and your site. So you know, look at this like your computer. You, you buy a computer at Best Buy or New Apple at the Apple Store, um, and the more RAM it has, the more programs you can have open at once, the more files you can have on the computer and access them. If I, I'm about to render this video, the video renders faster the more RAM I have. So that's kind of how you look at it when you're shopping for a, a hosting package. Um, but not only do we show you these limits up front, we also show them on the back end so you can see where you are in terms of that usage. And I'm going to demonstrate that here once we talk about the other packages. So I think that's the biggest that's the biggest thing when considering these packages, and that's why we put the uh, number of monthly visits that's kind of estimated um, because some people they don't they can't understand or, or they just don't have the background, which is fine. That's why we do it. Um, you know how much can one gigabyte of RAM handle? Because obviously you know a gig of RAM in a computer is not that much nowadays, but in, on a Linux server that's running a, a web hosting um, account, one specific account with files in a database that can handle up to about ten thousand visitors a month, sometimes even more than that. Um, so it's kind of relative to the specific situation of what it can handle and what it can't. Um, and also the Starter Plus, you know, these these have other limits too, um, as well as the Turbo in Business. And if you scroll down here, you can see our limits are right here. So web hosting account limits. You know, we put these on our sales page um, that breaks them down per account. And so these are all the default limits on every one of the accounts. So you can see this is just a CPU brand. They're all Intel Xenon uh, CPUs. The, CP, the CPUs, the cores allocated, CPU cores, number of virtual cores, that's allocated from the master plan. Um, disk space is allocated from master plan, which is just in terms of inodes. Bandwidth is master plan, which is unlimited. Uh, physical and um, virtual RAM allocated for master plan. Uh, the concurrent uh, connections is 25. Now this does not mean 25 um, visitors to your site. Some people get a little nervous with that. Um, this is the actual number of concurrent connections to the server. So one of these connections can handle much more than just one physical person visiting the site. Number of entry processes is 100. The IO um, limit uh, in kilobytes, kilobytes per second, IO operations per second, and inodes, which is uh, once again, that is the file, so that kind of goes into disk usage. Now, these are default limits per account, and of course, you can see these inside. So very rarely do we see people encroach on these, and if they do, it's most of the time a combination of both. Um, but if you do, you can also look at it and see why that that happened. I remember specifically working with our team a couple months back, and someone, every time they, I think it was published a post in WordPress or updated a, a page in WordPress, their CPU limit was spiking through the uh, roof and they couldn't understand why their their resources or their visits were about the same and the plugins and themes and everything was the same they've been using 
And so, uh, you know, one of our team members pulled me aside and I looked at it and I said, you know, um, this is quite strange. I get it. This hasn't been happening, but it's happening now. So let's look. And we looked, took a look at the, the files and, and watched the server as we made an update to the post or the, and um, when the user was having the issue. And what we noticed is there was a piece of JavaScript that had been, um, it was base 64 JavaScript. So it was encrypted in, into like binary code. And there was some malware in one of his plugins. So he had downloaded a a malicious plugin down the line somewhere, um, or he had had a developer work on it. I'm not sure what the case is, how it got in there, um, but that's what had happened. And so we, 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 once we could isolate it to that, he just simply got the, got a new plugin. We got it cleaned up and then the account was fine. So, you know, typically there's a reason for when you're reaching these limits, especially if you haven't grown in visitors or haven't, you know, made any substantial changes to your site. Let's talk about reseller for a second. So our reseller accounts, the limitations that you see on these accounts, um, on these packages are mainly one, um, how much disk space can you have? And this is actual usage, so you can oversell your space. You know, that means that if you have four customers and you allocate 10 gigabytes to each, that doesn't mean you can't set up any more accounts. You can set up a total of 40 customers. And this 40 gigabytes is actually only what is used overall. So you can have a, a quota of 10 gigabytes on 40 accounts. But, and you can, you, so you can create all the way up to that, but it's only what the customers are actually using or your users that are actually using. Um, and the same with bandwidth on, on this too. Now, on each one of these accounts, so 40, 60, 80, and 100. And so this is the number of cPanel accounts that you can set up for your customers. Now, of course, each one of these cPanel accounts has limits, much like our basic hosting packages. If I scroll down here, you can also see what these limits are, and these are default. So again, we have the Intel Xenon, the CPUs, they can have 100% of one full core. Um, you, as the reseller, get to allocate how much disk and bandwidth. The virtual and physical memories, two gigabytes and one gigabyte. Bye. The concurrent connection is 25, entry process is 100, IO limit, IOPS per second, and inodes. So same 250,000 inodes files per account, but that still goes into your total overall gigabyte usage. But this is the total number of files per account before the specific account would need to upgrade or you need, need to upgrade to a, a VPS if you're the reseller. Once again, our resellers, they very rarely reach these type of limits for an account. Now, I will say that the, uh, this is a, a standard default template. So th there has to be a Name Hero. We play at this fine balancing act because obviously every site that comes on Name Hero is not the same. You know, some are, are optimized very well some have poor coding um, and some aren't very optimized so depending on how the site's put together it's kind of hard for us to say you know a set amount of resources work for every site so we go off of this now, if you are a platinum or a diamond reseller, we can't allow you the ability to specify such limits if one of your accounts starts reaching um, these limits and they do not want to move to a VPS. So a lot of times we'll see resellers, you know, if they have customers that start reaching these limits, they will recommend to their customers, hey, it's, it's probably time to upgrade to a VPS. Um, but there is cases to where we can allow the reseller to give them more physical RAM um, and and, and more CPU cores with the exception of kind of trading off some extra accounts. So let me explain that a little more. So like our diamond allows hundred accounts. Well, if they had one or two customers that were reaching the default limits that did not want to upgrade to a VPS, well, instead of allocating the hundred accounts, we could size that down a little bit more and control specific resource limits. And that gets a little confusing. That's why we only do it for platinum and diamond resellers at this time. Um, but by default, all 40, all 60, all 80 and all 100 accounts go off these limits. And I believe this is a great starting point because as I said, very rarely do we see customers that reach these limits that already aren't ready for a VPS or, or are already using a VPS. So that is the reseller account limits. This is per account. And this is why I always say that, you know, each, uh, each cPanel can host unlimited domains within it but each cPanel is actually limited to these. So if you have five domains hosted in one cPanel, they're gonna to have to share these limits versus like one domain in one cPanel account. 
So that kind of gets into, you know, how popular are the sites in it? And of course, you know, how do your customers run their operations? And if it warrants the customer having, you know, two cPanel accounts from you or three cPanel accounts from you. So just keep all that in mind if you're one of our resellers, kind of how that works, that these are, are very similar to our web hosting packages, but unlike our web hosting packages, they, they are defined in the amount of RAM, memory, cores um, to this template here. And if we want to edit those, you have to be up here on the Platinum or Diamond. Uh, but then again, it's trading off some of these client accounts because by default, you're going to get the most out of your account by creating all 80 with the default um, specs here. You're going to have the most out of your account by creating all 100 at these specs here. So if you want to start you know, taking away from those other accounts to, to specific accounts, um, you know, you can, you're really going to hold yourself back on the number of accounts that you can, you can host. Um, but these are the limits. And again, I'm going to show you how to view these. So if you want no limits, so the web and reseller hosting, that's how you know, everything's allocated. Then we have our VPS. So our VPS, these are virtual private servers, and these are actually you know, deployed to where you have full root access all the way up to the operating system. And so these have fully dedicated resources. So two gigs of RAM and two CPU cores, you know, this is for the entire VPS. So if you have cPanel Web Host Manager um, and you don't impose limits on those accounts, it's kind of a free for all. You know, it, however many accounts you have will kind of share off of it. Um, and the same for all of these. Uh, and many times your resellers will come up and upgrade to these. If they just have one or two accounts that's maybe hitting limits on a reseller, but the others aren't, you know, some of them find benefits in going up here to the Hero 6 or the Hero 8 and just putting them all in there and sharing these resources here um, server wide versus is account wide. So that's you know a big difference to having a VPS versus having you know one of our basic hosting or reseller hosting packages. Um, and also the two gigs of RAM it goes further because it's the entire server. It's not just that per that account. Um, and you also have access to these dedicated cores. Um, we also have our cloud dedicated now, of course, these have the most power. So these are when you have a really popular site, a really complex application, or a lot of customers that you have on one, one server or one account. And of course, this comes into having your own dedicated processor. So not only do you have the virtual cores, you also have a dedicated processor. In the terms of the hypersonic, you have two dedicated processors, and the hypersonic will freaking blaze. I mean, the standard cloud, it blazes too. I mean, it's freaking fast. Um, but again, these, this is is actual this is physical dedicated hardware now it's in a virtualized environment meaning you could scale you could scale upward from standard to enhance without doing a migration you just click it to rescale it resize it uh, re-image the instance in the cloud uh, but then again it is physical equipment that you have access to so that's why you have so much power with our cloud dedicated so uh, you know i think by looking at this you know this is our our biggest hosting package we have is our hypersonic um, for 367 a month currently with two processors six 16 cores, 32 threads, uh, 62 gigabytes of RAM, and 900 gigabytes of storage. You know, whereas you start here at the starter at 581 a month. And this is what I say frequently in our videos is that we can handle a website of any size, any magnitude. And of course, with our, our VPS and dedicated, you can order multiple servers and cluster load balance and do all kinds of crazy stuff. So we can, you know, we can even custom quote stuff for um, you know, real-time replication and load, node balance, or load balancing across several different nodes, high available databases. And there's really not a solution that we have not done or cannot do for someone. I know We've had customers before that are some are um, well-known um, artists throughout the United States, and they'll have like, ticket sales to where they need access to tons of resources to have people buying tickets. And so we've done that before. Of course, if it ever pertains to you, feel free to reach out in an email and let us know what you're looking for, and we can help you out. Um, but so that, that's kind of your options at Name Hero. Now, it's important to note, actually, let me show you where to see these limits, and I'm going to tell you what happens if you start to reach these limits, because I, I believe just suspending accounts is really unfair. All right, so I'm going to log into my account, and if you're following along, you know, feel free to do so as well. And I'm going to specifically be talking about um, the limits inside a cPanel for our basic and reseller hosting. For our VPSs, for our um, for our VPSs and dedicated, you know, this is going to be your limits are just the overall server performance. You know, looking at the server load, the current uh, memory usage. Um, you know, you can see all that, and, and that will you know give you an idea if you're reaching it or not. But um, you know, our, our hosting packages that's very client or account specific, and so that's. that's 
that's where you should be paying the most attention because that's going to tell you if you need to upgrade or if you don't or where you are. So I've got a starter account, so just a basic hosting package, and I'm going to go into cPanel so I can log in here or here. And on the right side, when I load up cPanel, and this is if you're a reseller and you're reselling to your customers, these limits are in the same places so your customers can see these as well. Um, Want to be very transparent all the way down the chain. So on the right side below, you know, the general stuff, the statistics, this is where these limits show. So first off, we have the inodes or files. So this specific domain has a WordPress install and it doesn't have um, many custom things or many custom themes. I think it does have one custom theme and maybe three or four plugins, but you can see it's using 3,100 files or inodes um, out of 250,000. It's got quite a bit left, so there's no need to worry on the inodes. Now, if any of these are you know getting in danger of getting reached, it'll turn yellow. So this box up here will actually be yellow. If you reach it, it will be red. So if you see yellow, that should kind of get your attention that you need to be looking at, well, do I need to delete some files, delete some emails? Do I need to upgrade the package? If you see red, then immediate action needs to be taken. And of course, you can reach out to our team and we'll help you, you know, resolve whatever that may be. But you can see it's just the white background here because we're at 1%. Add-on domains, so this is assigned, this is a basic hosting package, so there's none allowed with this one, so that's just a, a basic um, package limit. Disk usage, again, we do not monitor that, so this is the affinity sign. Uh, the disk usage for MySQL, an infinity sign. Bandwidth, we don't monitor that. Uh, subdomains, unlimited, aliases, unlimited, email, mailing lists, autoresponders, forwards, email filters, all that stuff, unmetered. CPU usage, so right now, this specific site, it's um, not used, so there's no traffic on on it, so it's at zero percent. So this is one that kind of you can watch um, in real time, essentially. But I'm going to show you how to view historical usage because it'd be a pain in the butt to keep this on 24/7. But if you log into cPanel, you know, anytime if you notice your site going slow, then you might be encroaching on one of these limits. So you could log in and look. So if this was yellow, then we know well I'm having a CPU spike. Why? And of course, if it was red, I'm maxing out a limit. So I'm going to start be limited. So when I'm limited at Name Hero, we don't suspend. You're shown a your visitors are shown a server resource busy page. I think it's arrow 503. Um, so they're not shown a, a blank site. They're not shown a suspended site. They're shown this resource is currently unavailable. And what happens is once that CPU limit goes down, the site starts to load again automatically. So if it's limited, there's no suspension, no action on your end necessary. It just, the system automatically waits for the limit to go down and then it releases a site again. So your, it's, your customers don't see an embarrassing suspended page. They just see that resource um, limit reach or resource um, unavailable um, error page, which, you know, is, it sucks they're not seeing the site, but then again, the whole account's not suspended. And there are still visitors able to access the site, just the ones over that threshold cannot see it. Same with the entry processes, the um, virtual memory and physical memory usage, um, the IOPS, the IO, and the number of processes. So they're all inside of here. And as I said, you know, very rarely do I see accounts reaching that, and if I do, there's normally an underlying reason to why, especially if it's not traffic, if it's not visitors. So, okay, Okay, this is great, and this is in real time. So as soon as I logged into this account, you know this is the current usage as of the moment I logged in. And if I refreshed it, it would you know update as well. But since there's no traffic on this site, there's not much going on. Now, so to make this even easier to read, so you're not having to refresh this all day long, look under metrics. So at the top of cPanel, you go down here to metrics. And you'll see CPU and concurrent connection usage. And so of course, you can use a search to type in CPU right here. So you can click this. So this tells you historical usage. So if you ever did have a red, a limit, and you were asleep, or it happened you know, when you weren't around or in cPanel, this would tell you. So you can see that your site had no issues in the past 24 hours, so there's nothing to worry about. If I click details, I can see a breakdown of this. And so this is today, and this is the last 24 hours. I can do last four hours, last out, last 10 minutes, you know, I can go all the way uh, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, or the last 30 days, and I can look at all the usage. And this will actually load a chart too if I start reaching stuff, but it, since I haven't, it, it hasn't loaded one. Um, so I can see a, um, a breakdown of the last 24 hours. Um, you know, the usage is zero, so I haven't hit anything. So if I had faults, they would be in here. So I've got all zeros in here right now, no, no faults. Um, CPU usage zero, memory, entry processes. 
And of course, I can just change this up if I want to. But again, I'm not going to have any data in this because I haven't hit any limits. Now, just because I see if I would see a fault on here, like look, CPU usage went to one at this specific time, but there's no fault. See, these, this is showing you historical usage. This isn't showing you actual faults. Faults would show if they were on here, but I'm not seeing any. Um, of course, I'm not seeing any at this time. So if I go back here, back again, back one more time, snapshots. So snapshots, this is going to show you if there is an actual performance issue. So let's also talk about this. The screen I just left, I saw no faults because it was a, this is a demo account. You know, there's hardly any traffic on it. Um, if there was faults, you know, reaching a fault every once in a while doesn't mean it's time to upgrade. You know, sometimes a backup could be running. I mean, if you're doing backups on your site, which you should, or if you're running a cron job, if you process payments, or if you you know use cron jobs to sort tables or to do anything. On the database, you know, those can cause temporary spikes. So a spike that you know happens and then it's back down is really that's not a big deal. That's why those limits are in place just to protect the, the entire integrity of the system. That doesn't necessarily mean you need to upgrade or you're having problems or visitors can't you hit your site. The fault could have been as brief as a millisecond. So you maybe your visitors didn't even see a page because it was just really quick and back down. Snapshots, however, they will detect a performance issue. So check this out. It says, we consider performance issues that happened within five minutes of each other as a single incident. So this is going to show you if you hit these faults within five minutes of each other, meaning that it didn't just happen in a millisecond or a second. You know, it happened within five minutes together. You had these multiple um, instances that happened, and it takes a snapshot and puts it in here. And so this is today. I can go back, you know, the day before. I can go back, you know, whenever. Um, I think I can go back the last month. Maybe I can go back even further than that. Huh. I didn't know I'd go back that far. So you can go back quite far on these to look. So, you know, looking at historical usage, you know, what changed on whatever date. But not only that, this is going to show you the process list, um, the database query snapshot, um, the web server query snapshot. So this is going to show you what was going on um, when those resource limits were reached. So if you're not seeing snapshots, then you know, just because you hit a fault does not mean you need to upgrade, does not mean your account's limited. It means you briefly you know, encroached on a limit, which you know it happens, right? It's going to happen. If we didn't have those, then you know, it was kind of be a free for all and, and Name Heroes Network would suffer as a consequence, but that's why they're there. So the snapshots is really what you're looking for when you're trying to diagnose, it, do you, are you reaching a performance issue or are you not? And so you can scroll through here. And as I said, um, this dates, these dates are great because you can look at, well, what changed? You know, did I get a spike of traffic that day? You can pull up your Google Analytics and look at that. Um, you can pull up your plugin list. Did I update my plugins? Did I add a new plugin? Did I change themes? You know, what happened specifically? And this is going to show you the more data and the more detail as to why those limits were reached. But if you're not seeing snapshots in here and you're not seeing many faults in their page, there's nothing to, to worry about, you know, essentially. There's, there's just not because it's not uh, considered a, a performance issue. It's just a, a simple limit that was hit. So that's how it works. And that's for our basic hosting and our reseller hosting. And once again, when you get to VPS and cloud dedicated, everything is based server wide. Now, if you, you're running a VPS or a cloud dedicated and you're reselling hosting, you know you can install a cloud Linux license. We can, of course, purchase and install and set up that for you, where you can limit your customers inside of cPanel as well. Um, but that's you know up to you if you want to do it. Most of our VPS customers, they have five to ten customers anyways, and they just want to share all the server resources as a whole. So it's however you want to go about it. But in Name Hero, this is how each cPanel account is structured, as well as for resellers. So again, your resellers can see these and then they can make decisions uh, for their account. You know, is it time for them to upgrade to a, a, a bigger server or whatnot? Um, but this is one way we really want to be transparent at Name Hero. So you're not going to see your account just suspended overnight. Now, I will say there, there's been times where accounts have been suspended for um, hitting resources consistently, but that has to deal only with malicious intent. 
You know, if the site is compromised, um, if someone has guessed your WordPress password and installed malicious code, um, if someone is trying to hit the site uh, maliciously, you know, that's a different story. But these resource limits are based on performance, not on malicious intent, because of course that's a whole different ball game. We're getting to abuse, you know, abusive issues when you know, someone's actually abusing the server versus performance um, issues. So feel free to let me know if you have any questions on this. Uh, you know, I believe it's pretty straightforward. I understand it, it will bring up some questions, so especially you know some. I think the biggest thing that the biggest questions that I see is when people go in here and they see the site has been limited and they click the details um, and they think, well, my gosh, I was limited. What the hell, Ryan? Well, that's not always meaning that the, you know, the site was offline. It never means the site was offline. And that means it might have briefly hit a limit. It did not you know, shut it down. Unless you have a snapshot, then that we consider no performance issue on it. So just keep that in mind. And I don't want this video to spur up, you know, oh my gosh, I, ha I was limited. It says limited in here um, because those limits are there to actually protect you. And it does not necessarily mean that the site is having performance issues. If so, there would be a snapshot and the snapshot would allow you to diagnose what is it specifically. Do you have a bad plugin? Do you have a bad theme? Do you need to take a plugin off or do you need to optimize it or do you need to remove some data from it? So keep all that in mind when you're viewing these reports and of course feel free to reach out with us if you have any other questions on them. But this is one way Name Hero is working within the industry to continue to earn and gain your trust. You know, we want to be just completely upfront with our customers so here is you know what it here is what it is and you know here's what can be due to corrected issues and if you want more performance you know here's also what can be done so we want to always work with our customers and we never want to be that host like others that have came to name hero and said I was suspended at my current host for for CPU usage and I don't even know why and I'm really frustrated because of course that is very frustrating so we try to avoid that with all these tools here at name hero so if you like this video I always say that you know give me a thumbs up and I can get into more detail on this and get into some live site data. I can even set up some staging sites and you know throw some hits at them to reach some limits to you know go in more detail. So give me a thumbs up and you know if you don't want to learn any more about this and you'd rather other content, give me a thumbs down. Regardless of what you decide, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we're about to have our Black Friday sale coming up. The um, once that sale goes live, you know YouTube will be the first place that is made aware of it. Uh, then it heads over to the blog and then email list and social media and stuff. So if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you always stay in the know. Um, and of course, we, we really feel like um, it's a huge value our YouTube channel is because you get to talk to me essentially one-on-one, -on -one, comment on this video with questions or comments or concerns, and I will reply back to you. So it's a great way we can handle our communication here at Name Hero. So thanks everyone for watching and using us here at namehero.com.